band together for The Randomonium Show with host Corey Dominic! Hey guys, this is Corey Dominic here with another exciting episode of Randomonium. Today is Sunday, June 29th, 2014, and today I am excited because today I am reviewing the first episode, the pilot episode, Girl Meets World, of Girl Meets World, because the pilot episode was called Girl Meets World. Personally, I liked it. I watched it maybe six, seven times now total to really make this review good for you guys. This is my first review on my channel ever. Start out with characters. Let's break down the characters really quick. What I liked, what I didn't like. Start with Riley. Riley is the main character of Girl Meets World. She is Corey's in Topanga's daughter. Riley is an 11 and a half year old who really doesn't know who she is quite yet. Well, in the first episode, she doesn't know who she wants to be. She wants to be uh, Maya. Maya is rebellious. Maya is nothing like her. There's a scene in the pilot where she goes, where Maya asks Riley, did she do, your home do her homework? And she says, no. And she goes, no, you did both of ours. She goes, yes, yes, and I really, really liked it. It reminds me, and I'll show you that clip in a second, which reminds me a lot of Topanga. Topanga is, is, was a straight A student, and she's the top of her class. So that's where she gets that from. And then she's quirky, she's neurotic, she can be a little bit, you know, annoying at sometimes, but that's just like Corey. And together that makes a perfect match. You think I did my homework? I think you did mine too. I did, I did, and I really liked it. Maya is, to me, I made a good reference. She's like the Artful Dodger in the play Oliver. The Artful Dodger knows everything about everybody in the city. He knows the ups and downs of everything. The subway scene, which I'll show you in a sec, is what, where I got most of that from. She walks in the subway, she, she knows the guy playing the bongos. She walks over there, those girls know exactly who she is. She knows everybody. Weasel! Maya! There's watching Maya. Thanks, Gretchen. Another really funny scene I liked was when that guy called Riley a chick, and Riley goes, Hey, I'm a chick. Down here, I'm a chick. Who's the new chick? Chick. Down here, I'm a chick. It was funny. You know, it was, it was catchy. It was funny. It's something you wouldn't see on Disney Channel. Lucas is very funny. I like him already. He's going to be good. And I watched an interview, which I will put the link in the description, after I watched this the show five times, I ended up watching this uh, one and a half, one hour and thirty minute interview with Michael Jacobs and Corey Marsh, the executive producer for Disney Channel's marketing, and then the um, Michael Jacobs, the director of Boy Meets World and Girl Meets World, and the showrunner. And he said that um, they asked him, "Is Lucas Fryer going to be the, the the Topanga of this show?" And he says, "You'll never know. We're not going to." We're not doing the same show again. We're using it as a template, but we're not doing the same show again. And again, I will leave the link in the description where you can find that video. And if you have some time, watch it. Anyway, Lucas is funny because one of my favorite lines he has, which is hilarious, by the way, is, um, because he's from Austin, Texas, which you'll find out if you watched it. He goes, hey, Texas isn't so different from down here. Look, there's a pony. Fargo goes, that's a rat. Hey, this isn't so different from Texas. Look, there's a pony. That's a rat. So funny. He's so optimistic. He's so genuine. He's so kind. There's really good scenes with him and Riley and Maya and Farkle. There's a scene where with this jacket and he goes, why don't you stop her? Because it's not what I do anymore. It's not me. It's what Riley says. Why didn't you stop your friend? It's not what I do anymore. I said, all in all, it was funny. I had some good laughs while watching it. The only real problem I noticed was that they rushed the episode. The, you got to know the main character and, their, and her friends in 30 minutes. I asked a ton of people. I went on to Facebook. You know, I went around. I asked a lot of my friends. I said, what did you guys think about the episode? And they said it was really rushed. I agree. Re watching that, the interview, which I had stated a couple minutes ago, which I will leave the link in the description, like I said again, in the description, you can watch it. It will give you insights on the rest of the season. Of year one, apparently there's going to be more. There will be more. Year one, that 
yes, you get rushed into all the characters, but that way you're, you know, you don't build on characters for the next three or four episodes. You start right in with the heartbreaking stories. Because, yes, there will be heartbreaking stories. Disney Channel now, not back then, like where they had a little bit more leeway. Now, they're giving Michael Jacobs a little bit more room to express what boy was and what girl can be. And so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I think it's a great show so far with a little bit of character, you know. The supporting characters were great. Corey Fogelmanis is not um, a main character quite yet, but he will be a recurring character. And Jackie, she used to be Jackie Harris, but now she's Jack Kay, who was the mother on Sister Sister. She's the lady in the subway. And speaking of the subway, which I'll talk about in a minute, she, um, she'll, be again, she'll be on again, and apparently she has her own episode, which is about her. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, please watch the interview, which is, again, in the link in the description. Now, I was watching Boy Meets World the other day on the many reruns it has, and it was the New Year's Eve episode where they take the subway, and there's a scene where Corey and Sean are in the subway, and they go, well, I don't feel like I'm being watched. And they turn around, and it's a Feeny poster, and it says, Stay in school. Now, if you noticed in this episode, the, the pilot episode, there's a lot of posters of Mr. Feeney saying, stay in school, and then obviously you see the ghost, or the, the image of Mr. Feeney, and he says, well done, Mr. Matthews. You know, that. So, I found this picture online, and here it is. So, if I have said anything in this review, I've said it's well written, it's the same people that made Boy Meets World, with a new generation, they, like I said, it's in that, the interview, it's in the link in the description, they will go over it a lot more in depth of what I'm talking about, but I'm basically summarizing the interview. So, keep your hopes up, and never stop believing, because Girl Meets World will be better as it keeps progressing. This has been my review of Girl Meets World. Anyway, I'm Cory Dominic, and stay random! <laughs>